Hi, I'm Rex Nelson with the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. This is a first for the Arkansas Gazette, the Arkansas Democrat, and the Arkansas Democrat Gazette in the 200-year history of the newspapers. It's a video editorial. First, I'm going to show you an Associated Press video from yesterday, which is news. After that, I'm going to deliver an editorial, which is opinion. First, here is the AP video from yesterday. Almighty God, our sons, pride of our nation, this day have set upon a mighty endeavor, a struggle to preserve our republic, our religion, and our civilization. That video was news. Now for our opinion, which represents the opinion of the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. President Donald Trump was reading a prayer by Franklin Roosevelt, our president, on D-Day 75 years ago to the American public. There was no television then, and it was delivered over the radio. FDR was talking about saving our republic, our religion, and our civilization. What did he mean by saving our republic? Many have forgotten, but 75 years ago, Americans were concerned with the possible Japanese invasion of California. There were German U-boats on the east coast of the United States. Had England fallen to Germany, their next move would have been to take the war directly to the United States. If we had lost the war here, we would have lost our republic. What did he mean about saving our civilization? If England had fallen and they had victory in the United States, then all of Western civilization would have been gone, including many of our liberties such as freedom of the press, freedom of speech, and freedom of association. What did he mean about saving our religion? We don't think he was talking about just Christianity. We think he was talking about the freedom of religion in America, where you could be Christian, Jewish, Muslim, or any of the other faiths without any interference from the government. After Hitler came to power in Germany, he took over the national church, which was the Lutheran church. He ordered all Christian crosses removed and replaced with swastikas. Clearly, he did not believe in freedom of religion, and we would have lost that too in America with a German victory. Freedom is clearly not free. We enjoy many of the freedoms in America because of the sacrifices made by the men who stormed Normandy's beaches and the successful invasion to rescue Europe from Nazi occupation. It was clearly one of America's finest hours.